All right, like it or not, summer is winding down. School is around the corner. And that means WCCO's Going to the Lake road trip is wrapping up too. This morning, we're checking in on Allie Lucia and Mark Rosen in Amory, Wisconsin. Good morning to everyone on the morning show. We miss you. I'm joined by someone you might know pretty well, Mark Rosen. He doesn't usually grace us with his presence this early, though. And uh, this is pretty interesting to have you on the morning show, and you're not really awake. No, I'm not. <laughs> but we are at a pub here in Amory, Wisconsin. This is Amory Ale Works. It was just open on New Year's Eve by Jenna Johnson. She actually is a coder during the day. And then when she has free time, she spends her time here. Yeah, amazing. Uh, a dual, dual worker for sure. She doesn't sleep at all. And it's been a lot of fun here tonight. And you can understand why the people really support each other. We started our day, though, on a great pontoon uh, ride that really kind of lowered our stress level immediately, Allie. Yeah, it was absolutely beautiful. We visited two different lakes here in Amory. It was North Twin and Pike Lakes, and we got to go on a great little cruise through the Narrows, yeah. saw some wildlife. Yeah, I mean, it really does. If, when you come from the city, you realize your stress level disappears in about 10 seconds when you're on a pontoon and looking at bald eagles, looking at the, the blue herons, the, the just being experiencing nature like that is fantastic. Of course, we worked up an appetite as well. We did. Jason DeRussia was just uh, here visiting, and I believe he might have even visited this spot. Well, they, they, absolutely. The Farm Table Restaurant, if you haven't been here or when you come here, it's right on Highway 46 in downtown Amory. I mean, it's a really, really cool setting. It's a nonprofit, which cannot be emphasized enough, with the goal of growing a, a local food culture. Everything on the menu is from farms around Amory. They have cooking classes and events that promote local food. And yeah, we stopped in there for lunch yesterday, and it was fantastic. We didn't want to leave. But more importantly, not just that they, we got an education on the food that they grow and they, they make here, but also how they help the culture in the Twin Cities. They supply food to the restaurants like Bellacore and Birchwood, some of your favorites, and uh, just had a wonderful experience. Excellent food. And then after that, we just went up the road, and you have to see this place. It oh is boy. pretty cool. Yes, the Acme Junk Company has been here for about 18 months. It has all kinds of great things to put in the cabin or even your home. And they basically turn junk into art. So we had some fun with the love meter. And on that, Rosen was burning on one attempt. Mm -hmm. And then we did a Facebook Live where he was unforgettable, or excuse me, uncontrollable, I should say. And if you go to WCCO's Facebook page, I put in a dime and you can find out where I came up. Let's just say, yeah, it's worth watching. Uh, the machine doesn't lie. That's all. That's all I have to add for it. Hey, uh, later today, we, quite the experience. We went beekeeping. I mean, eighty thousand honeybees, and the noise was enough to give you nightmares. But we had a blast doing that. We're going to bring that for you a little later as well. Yeah, we can't wait to share that with you guys. So we'll see you in a little bit. Have a good morning. Pretty good. Uncontrollable. Wow. No surprise. Yeah. No. Notice how they didn't show Allie's. Yeah, maybe oh. it didn't go quite as well. Or maybe it went really well, <laughs> sure. and they just wanted to keep it in control. All right. Yeah. I'll find it and share it on our Great. Facebook page so people can check, uh, just see just how hot Allie was there. <laughs> that sentence is great out of context. Yep. Uh, <laughs>